This week we feature an introduction to working with solid rivets. Solid shank rivets are the fasteners we find on the home built and kit aircraft that tend to have the higher speed designs like the family of Vans aircraft and many others. Installing these rivets takes some specialized tools, techniques, and knowledge on the part of the builder. For those of you not already familiar, with a little practice and a few tools, you can become part of the family of builders that enjoy installing these well-respected fasteners in your next home build project. Let's take a look. Rivet guns are air hammers and the models used for our RV kit are rated as 2X or 3X which specifies the relative strength and speed of the repeated blows they deliver. A 3X gun delivers harder blows more slowly than the 2X's shorter, faster blows. This choice is of personal preference and both models are popular. The trigger is designed to tease the airflow, which gives you precise control over the strength and duration of the impacts you deliver to each rivet. The rivet gun uses a removable rivet set, which consists of a shaft that inserts into the gun on one end and a polished area that meets the head of the rivet at the other end. There are cupped sets for universal head rivets and flush sets for flush rivets. Each of the cup sets is designed for a particular rivet size. The trigger on the gun allows you to gradually increase the force and repetition of the impact blows that are transferred through the rivet set to the head of the rivet. A spring on the end of the gun holds the rivet set in place, allowing you to change the set to another size as needed. To absorb the impact, a bucking bar is held tightly against the stem or shop end of the rivet. This bar is simply a piece of steel weighing a few pounds with a polished face. They come in many sizes and shapes. To facilitate getting into tight areas you will encounter when building your kit. The rivet set is chosen based on the type of rivet used, either a flush or universal head. The gun is squarely engaged with the rivet head, the bucking bar firmly held in place and square against the shop end. The trigger is squeezed for a few moments. The shop head is checked for adequate deformation with the rivet gauge. The amount of time pulling the trigger depends on the air pressure you are using and strength of the gun, 2x, 3x. This is where practice pays off. While these demonstrations show how a rivet is set, what is not obvious is that oftentimes the rivet is situated in such a location you cannot reach the bucking bar and the rivet gun at the same time. Your arms will not be long enough. This requires a second person to help you hold the bucking bar while you operate the gun. This coordinated effort between two people to rivet takes practice. There are two general categories of solid rivets, countersunk or flush, and those are designated number 426, and universal head rivets, the ones with the domed head, and those are designated 470. The countersunk rivets are commonly used on exterior metal skins, so they reduce the wind drag and they have a wonderful appearance as they sit flush with the surface. 
this flush design requires the metal surface on which they lie to be dimpled or countersunk. Universal head rivets or the domed head rivets protrude above the surface and can be used where drag reduction or appearance is not important. They have the benefit of not requiring dimpling or countersinking. Identifying rivets by their size and type is an important skill we need to learn. In this picture we have the flush rivets across the top and universal along the bottom. These three sizes of each style reflect the most common diameters you will use in an RV kit. These three diameters of course determine the size of the hole that needs to be drilled. The other important aspect of a rivet is its length. A rivet can have a wide range of possible lengths for each of these diameters. Here is a standard numbering system that helps us identify the dimensional aspects of these rivets. We need to be familiar with this numbering system so we can select the proper rivets to use as specified on the plans when building our plane. This chart summarizes the details for understanding the numbering system. The AN specifies that the rivet is of Army Navy standards. The AN is being replaced nowadays by the letters MS for military standard. These letters are interchangeable with the AN, for example, when ordering rivets from a catalog. The 426 specifies that we need a flush style head on the rivet. The AD is a code that specifies the type of alloy the rivet is made of. AD rivets are specified to be used in your RV plans. The next number specifies the diameter of the rivet in 30 seconds of an inch. In this case, 4 30 seconds or 1 8 inch diameter. The last number specifies the length of the rivet in 16 of an inch. In this example, 4 16 or 1 quarter.